When the United States entered in World War II in December of 1941, the Navy's African-American sailors had been limited to serving as mess attendants for nearly two decades. However, the pressures of wartime on manpower resources, the powerful example of heroes like Doris Miller, the willingness of thousands of patriotic men to participate in the war efforts, plus well-focused political activities gradually forced changes. Finally, in 1942, enlisted rates opened up to all qualified African Americans, and on May 24th, a uniquely skilled group of African American men reported for duty. Their mission was not about warfare, wielding cannons, or shooting the enemy in combat. Rather, they were ambassadors for the Navy, driven by a force of a different kind, music. This is the story of Simeon Holloway, Benjamin Morrow, and Jewett L. White, three musicians and members of the all-black B-1 band. When I was 18 years old and finishing high school, I said to myself, will I be able to go to college? I didn't know. It's just, we want an all-black band in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I had never seen a black sailor in my whole life. For the first time, we were equal. You were a man, you, you were not a boy. Before 1942, blacks were considered almost like servants. Across this country, we were different. It was an awakening, a tiny awakening for our country to see us in this role in the United States Navy.